Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this is a quick spontaneous update. Crazy things happening um, today here in the Prop Trading Evaluation Challenge account and in, e in every other account pretty much. Um, let me give you like the quick summary. Okay, so what happened is I was outside for a quick run, uh, was in the shower, didn't look at my phone or at the PC at all. I think my hair is still wet, uh, was having something to eat here. And then I came back to my PC, activated my uh, remote desktop. So I was able to look at my VPS where everything is uh, running. And I just realized like these crazy spikes here. So you can see this spike in USD Japanese Yen and uh, the spike in uh, Euro US Dollar on the left side. And um, when I was sitting in front of my PC for the first time then, I was like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? I was only seeing like these really big candles. And I, at this moment, I was like, I pretty much knew I either passed the challenge or I failed it because these really big candles, they usually mean a lot of slippage. They usually mean like either a really big win or a really big loss. Or I mean like the loss, I wouldn't have failed the challenge, but uh, it would be like a really big setback. But um, <clears throat> yeah, in this case, like the first um, thing I was doing is I looked at the balance and uh, I think this is like, um, I should have passed the challenge. I mean, the login area didn't update yet, but I just saw this and my, my first idea was, oh my God, you have to cancel all the pending orders because there were two pending orders still active in the market. One was here in Euros dollar at this high somewhere. I can show it to you in the other account where it was still traded. But in this account, I wanted to cancel all the orders immediately because I didn't want to risk another loss and because I passed the challenge, right? So I was um, <clears throat> trying to cancel the orders like really quickly and uh, my VPS did not respond because I had a connection, um, a, a disconnection, like not, the VPS was not disconnected from the internet, but, um, <clears throat> but my remote desktop uh, connection was canceled. So it has to reconnect first and took me like 10 or 15 seconds and the price was already really close to the to the trigger level for the next order. But then uh, everything was good. I was able to cancel the orders. I was able to deactivate both EAs and then I saw in the chart that it says drawdown minus 5%. This was like the next shocking moment for me because I thought like, what the fuck? I'm in a drawdown. I cannot be in a drawdown. I just make a, made a bit, big win, right? And this is because <clears throat> uh, other than the version uh, of the Skyping Expert Advisor that I uploaded to the MQL5 store, in this version for my prop trading firm, um, I didn't um, <clears throat> yeah, make it so that it always shows zero if it is um, like a negative drawdown. So this means, of course, not a drawdown of 5%, but a profit of 5%, if you get what I'm saying. And yeah, I think this is what happened. So if we have a look at the um, account history, this is like the best trade ever here that happened today because <clears throat> we can see like um, there. Whoa, wait a second. Was this like the entry price? No. So if we have a look at the orders, was this sell stop order that was filled? And this was at one. Now the order was down here, I think. Yeah, this was the order entry level. So as you can see here, we got like a really good execution. We even had a negative slippage, if you want to say so. So we were executed far better than the price uh, for the order was. So we were executed here. <clears throat> and then there was, I, I, again, I didn't see this live, but I think there was one or two big jumps. The price dropped like dramatically and the trading stop was triggered. And this was the craziest profit that was done in this evaluation challenge. 300 points with a take profit of only 200 points, which is completely crazy. So I think maybe, <clears throat> I think we even triggered like the TP. No, we did not trigger the TP, we did the tr uh, trigger the trading stop. Okay, but anyways, like the profit is 269. <laughs> this is a little bit unfortunate because um, this would be a great first trade for the second phase of the evaluation challenge. But yeah, now we, I think we made the evaluation uh, challenge step one with a crazy outperformance. I think outperformance. This should be like 12% instead of the recommended 8%. Yeah, <clears throat> I just wait until my my forex funds uh, lock in area updates, and then we will see the numbers there. I hope that they do not like um, 
say that I violated any rules because I didn't. So yeah, I'm really curious to see this. But as you can see, there was another crazy spike in <coughs> Euro US dollar. And I'm still wondering why these spikes appeared. I think there are no big news uh, that were announced. At least I cannot see any news <coughs> or any of these news flags down here. So I think it's just a normal uh, price change, like just a crazy acceleration of the of the movement. But let's have a look at my second account here, which is the IC Markets account. And here we can see the execution also happened. This was not as good as in the My Forex Funds account because we did not have this like negative slippage. But still, we had a nice win of four um, <clears throat> of four euro in the US dollar Japanese yen, so a solid profit. And the second trade was also executed. This is the one that I cancelled in the My Forex Funds account. This made two euro in profit. So also like a really nice win. Um, not as crazy as in the My Forex Funds account, but. Of course, we, we, we take everything we can get here. So yeah, this is um, what we get, what we, this is the profit that we made in the um, live trading account. And yeah, crazy trading day. I think there won't be any more trades today, um, but this is absolutely insane. So let's, um, maybe I can close this and let's have a look at the my Forex funds um, <clears throat> lock-in area here. Yes, there it is. As you can see here, I passed the first phase um, of this evaluation challenge crazy outperformance <laughs> four percent overperformed uh, than what was like requ uh, requested by my forex funds but this is it so i would set up um, everything for the second um, step of this evaluation challenge and i hope that i will be able to pass this also this uh, this time for the second um, uh, like phase however you want to call it um, it's a 5% profit target goal and a 5% daily drawdown and an overall drawdown, overall drawdown of 12%, I think. So I hope that we can also make this. I will um, tell you more about this in the next video, I think. But this is, um, yeah, what we can see here so far. So let me know what you um, think about this in the comment section below. Maybe you did the same trades. I hope so. Uh, I hope that you made nice profit today. Um, so again, let me know what you think about this and yeah, I will still need um, some more views on this to like uh, get everything into perspective and yeah, just to set up the second uh, account here and go on with the evaluation challenge. So it took us um, 16 days to pass the first one. Let's go up to the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Bye bye.